Our next two presenters are an inspiration to young people everywhere, including me. I'm still young, aren't I? I'm still young. And am I? No, I'm not. Ladies and gentlemen, a pediatrician and a teacher who is helping all children get the future they deserve, Dr. Priscilla Chan, and a supermodel and entrepreneur who started a free coding camp for girls, Carly Kloss. When I first started learning to code, I discovered that solving technical problems can be a joy in itself. But though it's driven by pure curiosity, science can also be a matter of life and death. Working on the frontiers of neurodegeneration puts researchers face to face with the fragility of human life. Our next award recognizes two achievements that bring us closer to understanding major neurodegenerative diseases. Dr. Lee's work focuses on the role that misfolded proteins have in neurodegenerative disease, how they aggregate and spread from cell to cell, leading to the progression of Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, ALS, frontotemporal dementia, and other conditions. Dr. Lee's work is establishing an empirical basis for targeted therapies, and that's always the goal in healthcare, but especially when it comes to diseases of the brain. Breakthroughs like Dr. Lee's shine a powerful light in the dark. How do our brains work? And what are the mechanisms that make them fail? Virginia Lee has discovered the genetic origins of three different proteins associated with neurodegenerative diseases. We isolated the pathologies that are found in patients with Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. My father is the cinematographer Roger Pratt. He shot films such as Batman, Brazil, Harry Potter, and dozens more. It was fun to have a dad who made movies. We grew up on film sets traveling the world, but he also made movies of us, capturing our family moments. That's Tim. Tim is a baby. My dad now has Alzheimer's. And now that his own memories are fading, these images are even more precious. It's like remembering life through his eyes. Patients with these diseases, they accumulate abnormally folded protein that eventually clump together to form tangles. When the clump forms, the protein cannot do its normal function. When the mind works, we need to know why it works. When the mind does not work, we need to understand why it fails, right? And so by understanding why it fails, then we should be able to treat different diseases of the brain. For dad, it's already taken a huge toll. But due to the genetic nature of his condition, I also have a 50% chance of succumbing to the disease. It's hard to think about. But where there's science, there's hope. Knowing that there are amazing people like Virginia Lee working on this means we have a chance of beating it. 20 years ago, if someone were to say to me that you actually might live through a successful clinical trial for Alzheimer's disease, I would say that I don't think that will happen. But now, it might happen. I mean, in the next 10, 20 years, it's possible. For discovering protein aggregates in dementia, ALS, that in revealing that different aggregates of proteins in different cell types underlie Parkinson's disease and multiple systems atrophy. The Breakthrough Prize in Life Sciences is awarded to Dr. Virginia Lee. Virginia Lee was born in China and raised in Hong Kong. Before going into science, she studied piano at the Royal Academy of Music in London, England. This is really a great honor. 
And growing up in Hong Kong, in a traditional Chinese family, my mother never wanted me to become a professional, let alone a scientist. Thankfully, John Chojanowski, who's sitting right there, my life partner and collaborator, convinced me to embark on this wonderful journey with him, identifying proteins that are involved in devastating neurological diseases, which affect more and more of us, but have no effective treatment. To develop new ones, multidisciplinary approach, numerous collaborators, students, postdocs, and staff scientists have participated and contributed to our research, and I truly want to thank them for their dedication and commitment. Thank you.